Welcome everybody to the first annual chat anniversary hackathon. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we are AI Makerspace. And uh, first of all, happy birthday, Chatty. Uh, really cool to see how much this space has evolved, the kind of opportunities that exist just one year into this momentous tool that really brought this into the public consciousness, this idea of how to actually build AI and do it for businesses, do it for individuals, do it for everyone, uh, not just for some small subset of developers that's been following this thing since GPT-2. And so the world has really woken up to this. And today we're going to kind of focus in on what we should be building, shipping and sharing today as developers, as people trying to take it to the next level in our own careers. So at AI Makerspace, we really believe in this mantra, this ethos of build, ship, and share. For over 10 years as a university professor, I saw that the only students who were really being very successful out there in the marketplace were the ones that were learning new skills, using those new skills to build awesome things that they were pumped about, and then sharing those things that they built with others equally pumped about the space. It wasn't degrees, it wasn't prestige, it wasn't any of this stuff that people want to make you think is important. Rather, it was making stuff. It was being in a community of makers that shared your common goals and interests. Welcome, everybody, to the AI maker space. The values, the things that we put at the top of the pyramid and that we'd love for you to really dive in on today and anytime you engage with us, is we want to make it easy for you to create. We want you to help make it easy for others to create. We're not here to tear people down. We're here to help them build new things and build them up in the process. So build, ship, share is something that resonates throughout everything that we do. We want to make it easy, and we want you to build, ship, and share alongside us all the best practice content and documentation for emerging tools. The only way to keep up is to do so within the context of a community. And we always prioritize giving first. Many of you are at different levels. You'll find that today, if you engage with folks not in your team, or you join teams, or you consider having other people join your team, I would encourage everybody to go ahead and take this give first mentality and use moments as teaching moments, somebody will certainly pay this forward to you in the future if you kick it with us in the AI Makerspace long enough. Who are we? I'm Greg. I'm the founder and CEO of AI Makerspace. I've been teaching for a long time. This is the most exciting thing I've ever been a part of. We are trying to build the world's leading community of AI engineers and aspiring AI engineers. So welcome everybody today. I wanna to let Sarah first introduce herself to you, tell a little bit about how she can be useful today in your build, ship, share hackathon journey. Sarah. Thanks, Greg. Hey, everyone. My name is Sarah. I oversee operations for AI Makerspace. I am super excited for today's chat anniversary. If you need anything at all, we will be in the Discord throughout the day for the majority of the time. We also will be in this main session. We'll be able to learn. Um, if you need help accessing Hello. information, if there's something that, that there's a link broken, please shoot me a ping, shoot me a DM. I'm going to be your biggest supporter and cheerleader throughout this entire event. So thanks for joining us. I'm super excited to build Chip and share with you all. Chris, over to you, man. What's up? My name is Chris. Uh, I love everything about what we're doing. Uh, you know, if you want to talk about uh, machine learning, AI, whatever, I'm down. Uh, I live in the in the code and I live in the, the kind of like, uh, you know, I just love this stuff. I'm passionate about it. I love working with uh, Greg and Sarah, and I can't wait to see what you guys build. I'm super excited to see all the projects and everything, and I cannot wait to see uh, what you guys are, are capable of doing. So let's go. Yep. He's known as the LLM Wizard, a.k.a. Wiz. You'll see why by the end of the day today for sure. So let's align our aim for this first little intro session. I want you guys to understand the structure of 
the day. I want you to see some example projects. If anything interests you, go ahead and start engaging within Discord for projects that really jump out to you. Uh, maybe what? some comments in the chat, and we will be on mute patrol throughout, so no worries. Uh, and we're going to teach you if you are just getting started in your journey, we're going to point you to some resources. But we've got uh, some some things to go through after this. This is going to be kind of the biggest session of the day, uh, but we will talk about exactly what the schedule is, followed by how you are going to use Discord and Zoom today, and a little bit of ideas on how you might get started, even if you're sort of alone and you're not quite sure. So today, uh, this is the opening. I'm also going to do a retrieval augmented generation overview, and we're going to show you how to build your first RAG system using Langchain and OpenAI. We will provide lots of boilerplate code for you today, so it's going to be very easy for you to just pick it up and build something. We're also going to show you if you're building something that you don't want to use OpenAI, we're going to show you how to do it with open source models through a partner portal that uh, we encourage you to sign up for today from Gradient. They've got a really great API that allows us to go ahead and pick open source models up in the exact same way we would pick the OpenAI model up. We're also going to show you how to do this, not just with Langchain, but with Llama Index, if this is a part of your project you want to get after. And if you don't want to use just the models that are on Gradient, we'll show you how to add some additional pieces to your code to do it with any open source model. So Every hour on the hour, we're going to be doing a different presentation. Those are going to be here in Zoom. At 2 p.m. Pacific, we'll be talking RAG pipeline evaluation and advanced retrieval. We'll be talking fine-tuning of embedding models at 3, and we'll be talking deployment at 4. From 5 to 6, you'll be preparing your very final demos and submitting them in Discord. And the judging and awards process will be outlined at that time, and we'll be going into that part of the day from six to seven. It should be very exciting. If you have questions along the way, please reach out in Discord or use the Zoom chat right now. Projects we saw, we saw a lot of great project ideas coming in, and we encourage you to, if you don't have project ideas, go ahead and think about these. We posted a big list in Discord as well. But from testing platform, business consultant, sustainability with RAG, a GPT travel agent, a coding and German tutor, supercharging grad school applications. Somebody put end-to-end -end RAG on here. I wonder if it was Mert. Not sure who that was. But that's something that we've done in the past. It's a little bit more advanced if you're into that. Uh, admin for Microsoft 365, automatically generating executable PowerShell scripts. Very useful sounding right there. RAG for maintenance, virtual triage, early startup evaluation, lead gen, OCR. Let's keep going. Health coach, physics RAG, conference RAG, personal finance coach. Somebody said, I want to use Harpreet Sahota's new model for something. So shout out to Harpreet. Uh, legal rag, academic advisor, GPT, everything on this list as well. Uh, we've got uh, Laura the Legend in the house, who's going to be building a production haystack system. You know, course material question answer bot for students. I know we have some actual teachers in the house interested in building stuff. Lots of great projects. Again, there's a big old list and even stuff in the, you know, in the quote unquote femtech space here, postpartum assist, assistant for new moms, um, real time streaming, carbon emissions, so on and so forth. There's a lot of ideas bouncing around. The question is, ideas are dime a dozen. Execution is everything. What are you guys actually going to build, ship, and share today? So overall, the tools we're going to use, we're going to use Zoom for our overall presentations, and then we're going to use Discord for all comms. So overall, you're going to see Langchain, you're going to see OpenAI, you're going to see Hugging Face, you're going to see how to pick up Hugging Face open source models. You'll see Llama Index, Gradient, and you'll also see how to deploy using a Chainlet front end. 
as well as a hugging face space. So speaking of tools, I want to go ahead and share with you a little bit of what Discord looks like today. So your Discord is going to be set up like this. You can see all of the 2023 Chativersary channels. This is the announcement channel through the first meme in here. And uh, just to get it flowing, the procedure is going to be we're presenting high level. Then you go and you engage in breakout rooms that are actually Discord chat channels for each of your teams that have names. Or if you had no name on your team, we went ahead and gave you a chat channel already. So there should be an equal number of chat channels to the teams. This is where you'll do breakout rooms. We'll sort of shut this Zoom down as we go. And if you want to try to join a team, go ahead and smash the team intros right here and say, hey, based on what I'm looking for, I see this list and I'm interested in this one, this one, and this one. Go ahead and do that now if you're really into trying to join somebody's team, all right? And then, of course, you have access to getting in touch with any of us. If you want to ask a question, you can feel free to DM any, myself, Sarah, or Chris, and we'll continue to have support. We've got great peer supporters in the room as well that are, are great on Discord. So that's a little bit about Discord. Um, as we talk about the early building, what we want to talk about is if you're very early stage, what you want to do is you want to set up your development environment first. You want to make sure that you're good to go. This might take a little while if you're super early stage. That's okay. And the key pieces are you want to basically get everything in VS Code. You want to make sure that GitHub, Conda, your terminal, notebooks is all set up. You want to be basically be able to leverage the web framework we're going to use today, which is Chainlet, and you want to be able to deploy things to Hugging Face. So you're looking at setting things up with Conda, Jupyter Notebooks, VS Code, GitHub, and the terminal. And um, we'll go ahead and throw a link in the chat. Chris, can you throw a link in the chat of this particular resource? The second resource I would encourage if you're just getting into the space is to build your first LM application. This is gonna require you to access the OpenAI API as a developer. This is something that's built in. There's a script for that. Building your first LM application, containerizing it and deploying it is all stuff that's in here. We will cover aspects of this by the end of the day, but most of, mostly we will allow this to serve as your way of, of helping you figure this out. So when we go to build the chat app, in that particular case, we're using OpenAI and Chainlet. Chainlet's great because it's a beautiful user interface. It's your web framework and your user interface at the same time. It allows you to go ahead and modify prompts and visualize and iterate through them. This is going to be very important when you prepare your demo to get this right and make it really a kind of banger input and output that really does impress. When you go to ship and share, you're going to be dockerizing and deploying to a hugging face space. That's going to be something that is pretty easy for you to do with an open AI key. Again, this is sort of the easiest way to get up and running. So all of this is sort of prerequisite material before we can actually really start building RAG systems. And so we begin. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure you guys are getting active on Discord now. Think about that interactive development environment and the first LLM resource as a way for you to get started. And we'd love for you to, if you need a team, jump in and talk about what you're looking for, talking about what resonated with you.